Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, the Super Philly Atomica gets blown away at Saturday's feature event at Caymanus Park, Jamaica. Over in Barbados, trainer Robert Pierce's Michael bags the crop over festival handicap at the Garrison Savannah Turf. And another big stakes win in Canada for Patrick Husbands. We'll also make a quick flashback to last Saturday's King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Kip Cole Stakes at the Ascot Racecourse in England. First, our opening story from Jamaica. Saturday's feature race, run in honor of the outstanding filly, she's a man-eater, the Triple Crown winner back in 2017, also two-time Horse of the Year winner in 2017 and 2019, a super talented filly who recorded 25 career wins during her competitive run. 3-5 to five, the odds for the reigning two-time Horse of the Year and a big favorite, Atomica, drawn in post position 4. Jason Acosta's trial of Fun Can Done, last year's 1,000 Guineas winner, Mamma Mia, and the imported Fred the Great, who reports off back-to-back -back wins, would take up post position draws 1, 5, and 6, respectively. Brian Rickman in the cons box to take them from the gates. They're off for the She's a Man-Eater. One can't done misses it at the back, gives away several lengths. The speedy Mamma Mia takes charge early and opens up a gap of some three to four lengths. Atomica going in chase in second. Big Big Daddy on the rail, joined by Further and Beyond, nosing just in front of that one. Fun can't done toward the back of the field and last of all in the red, that's Fred the Great. Down the back stretch they go, they arrive at the six. Mamma Mia, just the leader. Atomica, a half a length down on the outside, looking to have a lot in reserve as they run toward the five. A gap of eight or more lengths to further and beyond. Fun can't done a length down on the outside. Big Big Daddy is next, and a Fred the Great needs help as they charge toward the final half of a mile. It's a two-horse race up front. Mamma Mia, the speedy ball on the rail. On the outside, Atomica trying to keep up with Mamma Mia. A huge gap opens up in the yellow silks to further and beyond as the leaders now make their way toward the final three. Mamma Mia continues to fend off Atomica. Fun Canton has made ground just on the outside of further and beyond. A gap to Big Big Daddy fading, overtaken now by the longtime trailer Fred the Great, as they'll come thundering now into the top of the lane. And it is Mamma Mia attempting to go all the way. Atomica darts down toward the fence. Fun Khan done the foreigner on the outside now kicking in. Further and beyond is left behind horses, but they run toward the furlong pole. And Fun Khan done has now pointed on that lead. Mamma Mia may just have a little bit left. Atomica looks us spent force down against the rail and it's fun can done and jordan barrett this is the fourth running of the she's a man eater trophy and fun can done upsets and wins a big upset by the eight to five bet fun can done jordan barrett putting on a skillful ride to make a come from behind burst and topple the leaders with about a furlong and a half to go fun can done makes his return to the winner's enclosure after playing second fiddle in his last two outings, exacting revenge on stable companion Mamma Mia, who got the better of him on last time out. A 1 2 Exactica for the champion trainer Jason Acosta. Jordan Barrett aboard the 8 to 5 bet Fun Can Done with a 7 and 3 quarters of a length win margin gets the better of stable mate Mamma Mia in second place and the crowd favorite Atomica in third position. We hop over to Barbados now where the St. Lucian born apprentice Aaron Daniel had to sit out the first six races on the card due to an infringement on his last race day. An interesting storyline for the race seven feature event at the Garrison Savannah track in Barbados. Apprentice Aaron Daniel had to play spectator for six of the seven races scheduled for the Saturday card but got the all important mount aboard trainer Robert Pierce's 45 bet Michael. As they run the far turn, head of the hill, which separates the contenders from the pretenders, they get back towards their departure point, just about passing Brigade House. Uh, Phil Morris continues to lead, but he's going to be pressed now by Mika. They're about three lengths clear of Caballito, and another three back to King Canute, who's yet to find his best ride inside the quarter pole. Half mile in 51 and 4, 6 and 1, 16 and 1. And there are no more turns and Mika comes to ask a question of Phil Moore's of Phil Moore's doesn't answer as Mika starts to draw from the right hand drive Phil Moore staying on his second Caballito so will be third but Mika is going to report who wins it three wins out of four starts from nine furlongs since the start of the year for the Robert Pierce trained Michael coming off the pace to take the lead at the 400 meter mark 
a good win for trainer Pierce, who would go on to take three wins on the day from the four events in which he had entries. Michael covers the 9-4 long distance in 1 minute 54 and 20 with a two-lens victory over runner of Fillmore's. Third place went to the challenging Caballito. And Goliath produces a gigantic run at the Ascot Racecourse in England to give the French the first King George the sixth and the Queen Elizabeth kick coast stakes win since that triumph in 2006 by Hurricane Run. Coming in off the pace, a well-poised Christophe Sumilan seemed to have a lot of horse beneath him coming to the halfway mark. As they pass the halfway stage, Blue Stocking ridden quietly on the outside of Dubai Honor. And now Hans Anderson's just trying to make their pips squeak. He's stretching on by a length and a half from Luxembourg passing the five. In third is Rebels Romance, who races on the outside of August Rodan, who for the first time is just shaken up. In fifth place, we have Goliath, a Blue Stocking just breaking cover on the outside of Sunway. Middle Earth is ridden, and Dubai Honor is right at the back of the pack. So making the turn, Luxembourg will have first crack. Leads Rebel Romance, August Rodin, Goliath running well, and Blue Stocking begins to improve as they make the bend for home. It's Luxembourg, pressed by Rebels Romance in the blue. The doors open on the inside for August Rodin. Goliath waiting in the wings. Then on the outside is Blue Stocking. Rebels Romance takes over. August Rodin hasn't got by yet. Goliath coming there, cantering for Christoph Zumioff. Then Blue Stocking, they enter the final, final and a half. And it is Goliath who makes now a two-length gap to Blue Stocking Rebels Romance. August Rodan can't go on. It is Goliath charging away with the King George, a giant killer by name and by nature. A big 25 to 1 upset for the Francis Henry Grafford conditioned Goliath, getting the fair share of a 1.2 million pounds purse. Second place went to Blue Stocking with Rebels Romance taking up third position. To Canada now, where Barbadian riding guru Patrick Husbands extended his stakes wins lead at Woodbine with a victory in the Seagram Cup stakes on Saturday, riding for champion trainer Mark Cassie. Barbadian Patrick Husbands atop the nine horse Paramount Prince for the champion trainer Mark Cassie had the backing of the punters with a favorable 7 to 5 wager making them the one to beat over the eight and a half furlongs journey. The Paramount Prince on top, speeds along by one and a half to Stanley House, started to be grilled to come after this leader and is making some ground, but Paramount Prince just shirks off that first challenge, two lengths away third and weakening is Volcanic and trying to run home, Wicked Django's coming home really well around the outside for Kevin Nichols has made ground on the top pair, turning in front, Paramount Prince has not been asked, is in second gear at the moment, Wicked Django's the threat down the outside and now the race for Paramount Prince, put to the test, has gone six in front. Wicked Django and Stanley House running for second and third as Paramount Prince out in a cruise control mode to win the Seagram Cup and it's by four and a half. Stanley House nibbled back for second. A comprehensive win for Paramount Prince with the informed Patrick Husbands in the saddle cruising comfortably across the line to another stakes win. An impressive five and a half length win margin for Paramount Prince in the Seagram Stakes Cup, handing a share of Canadian $175,000 purse for trainer Mark Cassie and owners Michael Langlois and Gary Barber. A successful weekend of racing for the Caribbean contingent, both local and abroad. Now, all eyes will be set on Caymanus Park as we get ready for the Jamaica Oaks at the Derby on all the sticks. We've been at the track covering the sport of Kings. Check us out again next week.